Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Discover Tense. Colonization of Mars Part 2 How will human live on Mars? Now water is present on Mars. It has two poles, just like Earth. A day on Mars is just 34 minutes longer than Earth. And it does not just have one, but two moons. Now there are many similarities in play. So what should be our next dream? Is it to place foot on Mars? SpaceX has announced to set up human colonies on Mars. How they are going to do it? Definitely, the planning is underway. The two steps which were revealed by them are that in the mid-22, first mission will be launched which will provide for the necessary arrangement for humans to live on Mars. In this mission, there will be no humans, just one spacecraft which will be landed on Mars surface. In second step though, second spacecraft will depart for Mars in 2024, but with people on board. The people going on Mars will live there for a very long time. They will be the first human colony there, and after two years, another spacecraft carrying more humans will be sent to Mars. This is the plan. And similarly, after every two years, rockets will be launched, carrying spacecrafts with humans on board regularly. But why is there a gap of two years here? Now this, my folks, is because Earth and Mars are at a distance of 54 million kilometers after every two years. And this is the chance for a spacecraft to be launched. And if this chance gets missed, Earth and Mars are then at 401 million kilometers apart. And then it takes two more years to be where Earth and Mars are. That is 54 million kilometers. So, distance, this is the reason a mission could be sent after two years of first mission. Not before and not after. And the robots which will be sent this year 2020 will select a suitable location for colony to be established along with data collection and surface monitoring of Mars. Most importantly, they will set up electricity, but how will they do it? That will be discussed. Electricity is made by dams, and right now, there is no dam on Mars. Then will they make electricity with the help of solar energy, because that's another option? No. The sun light on Mars is not too intense, through the, which electricity can be generated from sun. And the dust storms are constantly formed, which remain there for weeks, and sometimes for months. So they don't allow sunlight to reach Mars surface. Then will we use fossil fuels? Because that's another option. To make electricity? No surprisingly, we have to improvise this time. For future, which is nuclear power. So yeah, atomic power plants will be set up. So in 2020, the mission that will be sent to Mars, that is this year, will take everything necessary for a nuclear power plant, such as nuclear fuel, nuclear reactor, and if this is successful, then first human colony could get electricity for three years from this plant. The temperature on Mars is minus 60 degrees Celsius, and due to atmosphere of Mars, surprisingly, at minus 1 degrees, water starts to boil. Now, this is totally opposite to what happens on Earth. Now, a person standing on Mars will face four difficulties at the same time. First of all, he will face severe cold weather. Second, due to thin atmospheric pressure of Mars, his blood will start to boil. Third, the concentration of oxygen on Mars is less than 1%, so humans won't be able to breathe on Mars on their own. And fourth, the dangerous radiations of solar system and sun, which reach Mars because of no magnetic field, will also kill human beings. So what to do? Now, if human has decided to live on Mars, how will he cope with all these four difficulties? The solution of all this lies in two things. The suits and igloos which you are witnessing on the screen will protect humans from low atmospheric pressure, cold weather, and dangerous radi radiations. And they will also deliver oxygen as a suit always does. Humans will establish bases and then these bases will transform into colonies where an artific artificial atmosphere just like Earth will be created it means the same oxygen and temperature will be there in these igloos like houses and suits which humans need. These vases will be made on design so dangerous radiations and particles of Mars 
won't be able to reach in there. The question is, what will human eat? There is not possible to grow anything on Mars for this purpose. Aquaponics technique will be used. This technique in which fish and plants are placed with each other. Now waste of fish is used by plants and water is cleansed by plants for fish. And then the cycle carries on Martian human. Martian human will eat from there and drink water by melting the ice present on Mars. Now we have proposed solutions of how humans will drink, live and eat. But a psychological problem is still there. That there will be boredom and claustrophobia as many folks around the world are experienced right now due to coronavirus pandemic. Which will cause new problems on Mars. Now the rockets which will be launched to Mars will build landing pads on Mars from where rockets can be launched and they can be landed. They can come from Earth to Mars and they can go from Mars to Earth. They can both land and be launched. So, after every two years, people will return from Mars base and new batch of people will be sent from Earth to Mars, where they will work and socialize as well. But if the people living there face any problems while living there for two years, then what? So this Martian base will face this problem forever? That it, If they face any problem, help could only reach to them after two years, as I mentioned earlier. If people living there found any problems there, one facility that they can send message to Earth is also that it, it will take eight minutes for a message to be sent to Earth from Mars and to be received from Earth to Mars. But for human aid, they will have to wait for two years because we already told you when Mars and Earth are at 51 million kilometers, that is after every two years. Then a spacecraft can be sent which takes seven months to reach Mars after it leaves Earth. This danger will always be there. So we have to be prepared if we go to Mars for any misadventure. But if humans want to live there for a long term, will they live in these clothes suits forever? No, definitely not. Long term plans are to change atmosphere because proofs are there that Mars has environments suitable for living. For this purpose, we will have different options on hand. I mean, we can install factories which might not produce anything, but they will increase the pollution levels on Mars. And this pollution level, having carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, can increase the temperature of Mars as they did on Earth. But how uh, uh, much effective it is, we don't really know. And the second uh, step that can be used to um, artificially alter the uh, atmosphere of Mars is that to blast atomic bombs on Mars surface because doing because detonating an, a nuclear weapon on Mars will evaporate all the frozen carbon dioxide present there this process is called terraforming there are many doubts about it so guys this was how humans are planning to go and colonize Mars I hope you have learned something new from this video so, if you like our video, share it with your friends and family and click on the bell icon and leave your comment in the comment section. See you later. Thank you very much.